Now, floating solar panels on lakes and ponds is thought to be, by many, to be an eco economic way of maximizing space for renewable energy generation without using prime farmland or land. Well, we don't know what the impact is on the aquatic environment underneath the areas of solar panels and that's not the case anymore a team from cornell university in new york state has floated nearly 400 solar panels across three ponds at the cornell experimental pond facility adjacent to uh, the airport we're trying to get a better understanding for what happens when you put floating solar on a water body there's increased shade uh, how does this affect things like aquatic plants aquatic invertebrates, greenhouse gas emissions, uh, the microbial community, and sort of the inner workings of, of these aquatic ecosystems uh, with the sort of anthropogenic disturbance of, of floating solar added into the mix. And so we're, we're really trying to determine, uh, you know, what the effects are just in general. So positive, neutral, or negative, just trying to better understand how to uh, inform sustainable floating solar development if it does indeed uh, take off. Now Steve along with his team are studying how floating solar panels affect the water, microbes, plants and the fish living in it. They're also tracking the pond's greenhouse gas emissions, summertime algae growth, bioacoustics and environmental DNA. So we're collecting a whole suite of ecological um, attributes and trying to better understand the interactions between the floating solar deployments and the aquatic ecosystems and then we'll continue to do that through time because there can be changes that occur uh, over the course of of time and so we're seeing you know preliminarily some some somewhat rapid changes for example uh, where plants are growing in these ponds but then as time goes on the interactions between the, the floating solar deployments and different biogeochemical -geo processes, for example, uh, can change through time. So it's important to, to address uh, those changes and conduct the study over a period of years. According to the team, allowing floating solar panels to be deployed on federal reservoirs in the U.S. could save 5 million acres of land and meet 10% of the country's electricity needs. Steve said that these that while interest in waterborne solar panels is rising, the transition to renewable energy must incorporate sustainability from the start to avoid any kind of unintended consequences down the road.